Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another balloon. Something so exciting about chipping a football into a caravan. Yeah. <laughs> You're asked to do a snooker trick shot. <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I'm Adam from FWCI. This is Taskmaster Season 6, Episode 4, 5. H. It's just called H. That's it. And there's an H and a full stop. Howard? Russell Howard? Is that who the H is? I can't think of anyone else on the thing that has a H in their name. If you want early access to my Taskmaster reactions, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it. Five dollar redos is all it costs. And you also get early access to a bunch of other stuff and uh, movie polls and all sorts of little goodies in there. So patreon.com slash FWCI. Um, I mean, I feel like, um, what's her name? The old duck. Uh, um, Lisa, Lisa. I think she is a front runner to take the whole season. And Tim Vine has probably been the most entertaining. Russell Howard has as well, but overall it's been a pretty decent season. So let's let's check out the rest. I hear season seven, the next one is pretty good. Let me know in the comments what your favorite seasons are. And joining me as always is little Greggy Davies. Greggy, why do you do these little appearances? The chance to win this gilded duplication of my massive chiseled noggle. Taskmaster Season 6, Episode 5. Let's go. And Tim Vine! Whoa, Tim. Why are you wearing incredibly boring pants and an incredibly exciting jacket? And as is tradition, we'll be having some painfully stilted banter for about two minutes before we start the show. No. <laughs> and you, Alex, are a wonderful person. <laughs> I... Love you, Alex. Should we do one with uh, me voicing you now? <laughs> I'm Alex Horn, and I support apartheid. You could... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We've asked them to bring in the sturdiest thing. Ooh. OK. Um, the sturdiest thing? Fuck, man. What am I going to bring in? You know what, this desk? This is sturdy as fuck. I think I'm just gonna enter this desk. Now I hope I win because I need that desk. <laughs> as you can see, a lot of important business takes place on there. I'm launching an action figure channel, to be honest. That's what all, all that is. Small plastic St. Bernard. Does he mean St. Bernard? Like Beethoven? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've developed a means. It's cute. If you drop me from 15 feet onto a cross-eyed plastic hound, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd probably fuck it up. If you landed on my desk, Greg, you wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. He's a big boy, though. From today, I am now officially a vegan. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. But I'm actually going for an egg. Ah. I'm because... back in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that you could drop an egg from a tree and it won't break? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is that true? It's a donkey. You, yeah. bought, a, you we, bought a donkey in there, Yeah, Thomas. Yeah. Thomas. There's the picture, but oh. the winner... There we are. That, it's Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Whoever wins the show will win all the four sturdy things and have a go on the donkey. Oh, <laughs> have a go on anything. Have a go? What the fuck does that mean? Are you going to ride the donkey? I suppose donkey. For some reason, I'm thinking goat. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I read it as have sex with a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> it did sound kind of like that. My mum's polytunnel on her allotment. A younger host wouldn't be impressed by that, but I'm a middle-aged man. <laughs> that, is, that is a lovely bit of kit. <laughs> My brother's calves. <laughs> so sturdy. What? He is here. But where is he? I want to jump from 15 feet onto him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they actually are disgusting, aren't they? <laughs> all right. They're all right, I guess. Not that big. I would mess an egg up uh, faster than I could mess up Tim St. Bernard. Famously. So that's um, last and second. St. Bernard? Doesn't, never sounds right, hearing it like that. You know, but how can you turn down a donkey? They're a powerful <laughs> image of everything. Once again, Lisa. Right? Lisa Tarver. Five points to Lisa. <laughs> 
follow this string in, do I? Follow the... Following this string. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, Hello. Yeah. So it goes in that thing and then three of them come out? What the fuck is going on here? Without leaving the caravan, work out how long this piece of string is. Hmm. That actually seems like it'd be quite easy. Just measure the edge of the table and then just start going. Now, there's loads of string in that bathtub. <laughs> it goes through there each time, so that's going to add. That's him. Don't be trying to guesstimate this. Just figure out a system and go, go for it. Alright, maybe my plan was a bit ambitious. 500 feet. That's a lot, though. Yeah, I'll say 500. <laughs> the more I think about this task, the more of a fucking nightmare it sounds like. They should just call this task Roslyn. Oh. 200. <laughs> oh, no, you sure? 500. <laughs> <laughs> Based on nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Russell's was... 31 metres or 102 30. feet, so there's 400 oh. foot between the <laughs> guests. Whoa, man. I think Asim's probably closer. Did you bring a tool with you? Yeah. But I do often have a tool on me. Can I have some scissors? Well done, Lisa. I've absolutely no idea. I can't help you. And I'd be wrong to pretend I could. Do you want to have a guess? So really this is a guess how long the piece of string is task. So I think that this piece is five foot seven. Um, I'll say four miles. <laughs> long, isn't it? It's really long, isn't it? She might be right. I wasn't sure which bit of the string you wanted to measure, and I just thought I'd, I'd the better, whole to have, bit of better to have an accurate measure of a bit. Than an inaccurate measure. Wait, that was her whole guess, the five foot seven? Yeah, five foot seven <laughs> is wrong. Oh, Alice, that's an. I, I reckon Lisa's got this. Oh, Tim Vine, what do you got? Two, three, five, six, seven. You know what? That's at least. Let's get a little bit out of hand there, TV. Jesus Christ. He's going hard. I respect this attempt. 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? How is it just a piece of string doing this? Uh, the lobster's about uh, uh, 30 centimeters. Okay. Well, thank you, Tim. 308 times 30. Jesus, what's that? 308. I've been like 9,000. 9,000 and something. In the 9,000 range. Tim has never won a task in the show. He's won the prize task, but he's never won an actual. Why? He hasn't won a task. Converting that to feet, that 308 feet, the actual string was 97 metres, which is 318 feet. <gasps> Tim! Well done! That's why you wore your victory jacket, I see. Now that we're leaving Europe, it might, yeah. we might measure things in the lobster. <laughs> well, that's all the LB, you know, instead of pounds, it could be lobster. Yeah, lobster. <laughs> Lisa was 21,000 lobsters out. <laughs> Understandable, yeah. You know what, it was still a, 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 safe, a safe gamble. If you're going to gamble, go all the way. Leader at the moment is Tim Vine. Whoa! <laughs> Viney, Viney, Viney. Pull this tablecloth off this table. Most eggs left unbroken on the table wins. You have one attempt and may not tamper with the table, tablecloth or eggs. Nice use of the word tamper. Mm, yeah, that's unusual wording. Too much to worry about Asim, eggs being as sturdy as they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think Tim's got this. Tim's my bet. This is Tim's night. I think I'm gonna nail it. I just feel it. Rusty, good work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is that considered a full yank? Does it count? What will Greggy Weggy Puppy Face himself say about this? Yo! Vine! Look all these motherfuckers did it. Oh, come on, Lisa. That's what they all did it. And that's the end of Trustmaster. Good night. <laughs> wow. I think I've ever seen that before.
he build it? What is this red box? And tracksuit. Why are you making glory holes, Alex Horn? Find the link, then do it exactly 100 times. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. What? Find the link. So all this is linking. OK. Find the link. What's the link? Like what way? Oh man! And there was some that were twisted around. But the... Your mum had been kidnapped or something, <laughs> and you three turned up. You go, oh no! This is my colleague. He's in a safari costume. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I want to burn all of this. <laughs> is the link that there is no link? There's whiskey here. But then that says urinating. But this is do it a hundred times. I don't get that. I thought it means you had to follow the... Oh, yeah, H, H from steps. H. Well done. What does that mean? 8, 15, 16. <laughs> what? what is happening? Oh, because you're this hopping. House of Pain. There was another H.O.P. that you said. Okay. What's the whiskey? All right, so do they crack the code? Okay, okay ready? Yeah. One, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh. Are they hopping on one foot? Oh, okay, right. I thought they were just <laughs> trying to look like bunny rabbits. They're going to count our extra ones, aren't they? Only if they're dicks. Yeah. Uh, Russell, why'd you do the extra ones, you fuck? Team fuck. That's what you turned that into with those. It was only ruined by one thing. Go Once on. you crack the case, both of you, without discussing it, bunny hands up. <laughs> yeah, what was that all about, guys? <laughs> I stopped the clock after their hundredth hop. I'm not, I'm not a dick. They took 11 minutes and 18 seconds. OK, we're now going to look at Tim. 11 minutes and 18 seconds, and they didn't get punished for the additional hops. Do you know what it's lying in? It looks like, to me, hops. I keep thinking it's something like hopping. Well done, well done. I, I reckon let's, let's step back and look, because I think we're too close. Yeah, we're probably missing there's something, a big... What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> OK, just remember H. Yes, I remember H. OK. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this could be? What? The alphabet. A? <laughs> Why are we letting a sim run point on this one? Ah, jump around. Maybe we could just jump and do something. Wow. 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 Six, seven, eight. <laughs> I've just hopped a hundred times. What was that, a quarter? Well done, Lisa! <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, and it says hop, okay. Alright, so Asim was onto something. Sorry, Asim, I was throwing too much criticism your way, but Lisa. Have we ever had a clearer metaphor <laughs> for the plight of women? <laughs> the other room furious no no well done I it was furious and tim's gone greg's gonna bloody demolish me for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. how quickly did lisa solve it she, yeah well she said hops in under a minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow let's say five points for um lisa, lisa. And, lisa. and her two clowns <laughs> <laughs> okay this next one is that was so good lee <laughs> oh fucking hell. She got it in under a minute as well. It's not like it took her ages to get that. She was just straight away it hops. I think it's hopping. Oh, that was beautiful. Pull off the most elaborate trick shot. Oh fuck yeah. Oh I like this. Yeah, me too, Tim. Alright Alice, what do you got for us? Look at the crazy trick. <laughs> you know what? I'm all in. And that, my friend, for a trick shot. Thank you, Alice. Uh, you could have done, like, anything at all. I mean, you could just put on, like, a silly costume and say you're some fancy character, I don't know. So, you could say it was uh, well thought out, okay. interesting. Mm. The other angle is we right. could say it was rubbish. Mm. <laughs> Probably say the former, is it? For, do you think? Yeah, maybe. No, it was rubbish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone will take home an egg, Russell Howard's brother's legs, and a donkey. <laughs> it's a pretty decent prize pool. Although I'm, I'm not impressed by those calves. This is where we went with all of that. 
Bloody hell. Alex Horn, is this what you do in your spare time? First of all, we have to chip the ball through there, and then we have to get the basketball in the bathtub, and then right at the end of it... Man, you're making this real fucking hard on yourself, man. One, two, three, four, five. First bit done. I don't understand your dress sense. <laughs> fucking right. Your glasses look a bit silly. <laughs> Pleasure. All right, all right. He pulled something together there. I don't know what it was exactly, but he pulled it off. First of all, let's address your sludging technique. I'm not sure about your hair. <laughs> <laughs> your glasses look silly. Yeah, oh, she's got me there, yeah. <laughs> Not, not every time, and we've got a couple of the other attempts. Ah, oh. uh, really? It's fine. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah, man, this is what I was thinking. You made this very difficult on yourself. That basketball one, I knew that was, wasn't going to work. At this point, he's regretting having the hula hoop as step one. I'm so happy, though. <laughs> Something so exciting about chipping a football into a caravan. Yeah. <laughs> You're asked to do a snooker trick shot. <laughs> 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 Very good, Lisa. I'm not going to argue with you after the last thing with the hopping. You get the win. Right now, Alice Levine is probably incredulous, though. <laughs> that is not... Oh my god, it made it through. Come on! You know what? Not bad. I mean, that's actually pretty impressive. Why is there a giraffe there, though? You, didn't you just create a massive tube? Yeah. <laughs> just a massive tube. But it got a round of applause from these simpleton. Hey. <laughs> Bag Tim in the first place. <laughs> Tim, yeah, you know what? I think that one deserved number one. Uh, trickery should go in second place there. Do you? Yes, Thank I do. You. Yeah. Okay. That kind of sucks. It was okay, but I feel like it's a little bit, a little bit cheaty. Fine time. Oh, is Lisa gonna take it away from him? Throw as many eggs onto the shelves as possible. You must lie flat on your bed at all times. Most eggs on the shelf. Ooh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, who is that one with all the? I can't fucking tell who's who. Well, that was the end of eggs. Russell and Tim both got five, but Lisa is very good at throwing eggs onto a shelf. She got six eggs onto okay. the shelf. Oh, did she steal the win from Tim? Is Tim just Dirk no win ski? 103 for the series. Oh, wow. Lee! Uh, Alice and Asim are on 76 and 77 to give you some idea <laughs> yeah. of how far it is. I think you might be Britain's most powerful woman. <laughs> <laughs> she might be. Mine time! Yes! Finally gets a win. I'm happy to see that. We've learned that when Britain finally sets sail and leaves the EU, we'll know because the road signs will say London to Brighton, 390,000 lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he gets to have a go at the donkey? Not a bad episode of Taskmaster, the um, sturdy prize task. I feel like that's a bit of a stretch, so I don't know if that's a sign of things to come with the uh, prize tasks. The string, how long's a piece of string? That was really good because there's really no way that you could do any kind of actual measurement. It was just gonna come down to guesswork, basically. And who to guess? Although, Tim Vine certainly um, showed us how many lobsters it was, which turned out to be pretty goddamn accurate. Interesting that they had a task where all of the comedians passed it, they all got five. I wonder if that was supposed to be like a, um, uh, what do you call it? A tiebreaker task and they were like, ah, well, we can't use it as a tiebreaker So fuck it. Let's just you know use it as a regular one. The snooker trick shot wasn't too bad I don't know. I don't know what you could do to make that funny Maybe that's a little bit difficult to try and just make humor out of that But um, I feel like that one could have been funnier and the uh, task where they had to solve the riddle and hop a hundred times the <laughs> Liza's performance in that was absolutely amazing and the fact that she just went off and did it herself and ended the task that way just the perfect ending that made me that that makes me love her even more so shout out to Liza and uh, what was the one at the end the one with the eggs that was alright I couldn't really tell who was who 
Um, they should get some of the games from uh, Jimmy Carr's show Distraction for the live tasks. They can do um, Wheelbarrow. No, 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 they won't do that. If, you, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this episode. Again, don't forget to subscribe. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.